We welcome you to the fourth race of the Irwin Tools Cup Series. Uh, this is at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And today we've got a very thrilling race for you as we have 36 of NASCAR's fastest drivers here to take on this mile speedway for 12 laps in a very exciting race that will determine a lot in the chase for the championship as we have four races left until the cutoff and only three drivers are locked in. Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, and Jimmy Johnson. So who will join them today? We'll find out. And so we're going to look at your starting lineup for today's race. On the pole is Martin Truex Jr. Still looking for a win. And Matt Kenseth has had a terrible year so far, hoping to win. Kyle Busch wants to win two races to get some bonus points. And Logano, he's right on that cutoff for the chase. Denny Hamlin finds himself one point out of the chase today. And Kevin Harvick, he is well above the cutoff line. Carl Edwards, he's one point ahead of his teammate, Denny Hamlin, and Keselowski, who's locked in by win. Kurt Busch also having a consistent campaign, and Jimmy Johnson, who is one in the, at Auto Club. Chase Elliott, he needs to make up some ground, but Casey Kane is in a firm point spot. Kyle Larson, he's built himself a cushion in the points. And McMurray, he is just outside the cutoff. Ryan Newman, he is he needs to pick it up a bit. He might have to win. And A.J. Allmendinger is looking at Watkins Glen. Ryan Blaney, besides Kentucky, is too good. And Austin Dillon, he is second in the actual points. Tony Stewart having an awful year needs to do some. And Alex Bowman, who you never know. Paul Menard, Danica Patrick, both of them are about in the 20s. They need a miracle to win. Clint Boyer, he's just hoping to get into the 14. And Eric Almarola, maybe he can do something. Michael McDowell, and then Trevor Bain, surprisingly 10th in points, but he needs to pick it up today. Ricky Stenhouse and Casey Mears. Stenhouse is about 20th, so he's going to need a win. Chris Buescher, who is ha and has an okay start so far, and then Greg Biffle having a terrible start. Landon Castle and then David Ray, and both these guys trying to improve. Brian Scott in some of the final races of his career, and Matt Benedetto as well, moving to the 32, and then Regan Smith and Jeffrey Earnhardt both racing for their rides. And so today's honorary starter is Red Panda 4812, and he's going to lead us off. Green flag is in the air, and we are underway at New Hampshire. Martin Chuex Jr. takes the early lead as they head on into turn one. Down the back stretch, Martin Chuex Jr. has him. He's battling Kenseth, and as they come off, Martin Chuex Jr. is going to lead lap one. Lap two out of 12. Martin Chuex Jr. continues to lead this race. He leads the pack. Of 36 cars, Kyle Busch battling Matt Kenseth for second. Martin Truex Jr. is still ahead here, but Kyle Busch is battling Kenseth. Lap 3 out of 10. They're still battling behind Martin Truex Jr. as he is leading Hamlin, battling Harvick, Kurt Busch, and Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth. They're still by each other. Truex is going to come around and lead lap 3, and now lap 4 out of 12. And now Kyle Busch looks like he's finally cl cleared Martin Truex as, or not Truex, Kenseth. As Martin Truex Jr., he is actually leading as lap 5 out of 12. Truex is continuing a steady lead over his competitors so far. And look at this, we got some big action in the back. Austin Dillon's got to make up some ground. Martin Truex Jr. comes around, leads lap 6. We are almost half, we are almost half now, halfway through this race. And Martin Truex Jr., he is trying to pull another Charlotte, and he wants to lead every single lap of this race. Penske teammates Bam Logano has been fading. Lap 7 out of 12, Martin Truex Jr. continues his lead, and he is about to catch lap traffic, as you see by this shot. And now Martin Truex Jr., he continues lap 8 out of 12. we got a couple more laps to go, and Kyle Busch is trying to close on him as they head down the back stretch. And we got a big crash here. Almarola, Trevor Bain, and Clint Boyer. Caution is out. Lap 8 out of 12. That is not something Martin Truex Jr. wanted to see. He was dominating this race. Look at this. Almarola gets turned and gets into Bain and Boyer. 
And Eric Almirola, tough luck for him. Trevor Bain, this is really going to hurt him in the points. This is not going to give him much room to get in. And Clint Boyer, which is just going to dig him deeper. So those three drivers, they're all behind the wall. And Trevor Bain's the most devastating. He was having a good run the last three weeks. And now we're going to restart. Lap 10 out of 12. Three laps to go. Green flag is in the air. And they side by side. And Truex does not get that great of a restart. And Kyle Busch gets by him. The dominant car is now back to third place. Kyle Busch is now leading. And now... Lap 11 out of 12, Kyle Busch is leading this race over Matt Kenseth. They're coming down the back stretch. He's still got him. Kenseth, will he ever run? He's probably going to have to get the win to make this chase. Lap 12 out of 12, final lap sponsored by Credit One Bank. Matt Kenseth is closing the gap right behind Kyle Busch. One last turn. Kenseth is going in, and he's going to pass him, and they're beating and banging the line, and too close to call. And wow, that was a very close finish to the line as we had a strong battle between teammates. Look at this. Kenseth drives it in. And as they head down, they're beaten and banging. And Matt Kenseth edged him to the line. And Matt Kenseth will clinch his spot into the Irwin Tools Cup Series chase. This is one of the biggest wins in his career. And is big for Matt Kenseth. So congrats to BC Jets 19. You are in the chase and you've won the race at New Hampshire. Nothing better. So here's the results. Matt Kenseth wins. Kyle Busch. Look at Toyota. Um, all, all five of their cars finished in the top six. Team Penske like right behind them. And Stuart Haas. Jimmy Johnson with kind of a slow day in 16th. I think they're probably trying to experiment for this chase. So that might... Be why they were not running well. Let's look at this page. Austin Dillon in 23rd. This is really going to hurt him points wise. You can see Alex Bowman. Tony Stewart is first top 20 of the season, I think. Or unless he got, I think he got one in Atlanta though. And you can see why all the other drivers here had okay days. And this is what's heartbreaking. Trevor Bain, 35th. He, this is going to really hurt him on this next page after this run. And let's look at your chase grid. Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kenseth, all in by win. Harvick and Kurt Busch are looking good, but after that, it, it's anyone's game as Kane, Larson, Truex, Austin, Dillon, Hamlin, and Logano. And Carl Edwards would be out due to tiebreaker. Logano finished second at Kentucky, he would be out, and you can tell this is going to be a tight run to the finish, especially with the points tied right now for that cutoff. So race number five, we head to Watkins Glen for the only road course of the season. This is A.J. Allmendinger's one chance to make it. It could be someone else's big day to get out of their point deficit and get themselves in, so that should be very exciting. And once again, congrats to Matt Kenseth locking himself into the chase. And this is a very big day for that 20 team. But it just made it a lot tougher for the guys behind them. So thanks for watching, and we will see you at Watkins Glen for Race 5.